Hello everyone and welcome back for the next episode in our one shot playthrough. In fact, it might be the final episode in our one shot playthrough. In the last episode, we were going all around the city, getting to talk to some people and find out that the place is really starting to fall apart. That these square anomalies are starting to pop up in some pretty crazy places and they're definitely messing up the robots. Scientists are racking their brain, drinking coffee like crazy to try to troubleshoot this issue and they are not finding a solution. We did find Dr. Silverpoint, it looks like kind of the head technician and she was able to help us out to get a library card so we could get back here and meet the head librarian. So we got back here, talked to her just a little bit, said, yeah, the tower's where you need to go, but there's only one way to get in and I don't know how to get past that point or something to that effect. Now, the one part that does scare me a little bit is we read a book right at the end of the last episode that started to talk about the multiverse. And I don't know how a little game like this can incorporate a big idea like the multiverse, but I'm excited to see if that's where they're gonna go, how are they gonna pull it off? If by some chance it's your first time finding the channel welcome hope you have an awesome time if you do have an awesome time it sure would help me out if you consider hitting that subscribe button all right let's not wait any longer let's get back in here see if we can finally find out the conclusion to this amazing little story we got going on and find out is it really a multiverse situation all right everybody welcome back i am curious to see if this is going to be the end all right what do we have in our inventory still okay we read the books over here. The fridge is full of bottled water and takeout boxes. Can I help you with anything else, dear? Oh yeah, I was doing like a, like a country accent, wasn't I? If you have any questions about books, well, I am a librarian. I can help you with anything. Oh, she's, she's just repeating herself, okay. Books, now why is that highlighted? I don't have a books folder on my computer, so. We'll leave that be for now. There's a black clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, this other book has a clover on its spine. And the rest of these books too. Are they all about clovers? Of course not, dear. The black clover is sort of the author's name, you see? Oh, actually, we don't know his name. He just uses a clover to mark his works is all. So he wrote all these books? He's a trooper, that. Okay. These books are, are these boxes are full of loose papers and notebooks. I see you've taken an interest to the manuscripts. What are they for? Well, aren't you a curious little one? The author passes these drafts to me, you see. Since I'm the head librarian, I'm supposed to help him publish these. But, oh, I haven't seen that gentleman lately. Which is quite strange. Usually, he delivers these manuscripts to me faster than I could work on them. I guess now it just means I get a little more breathing room. <laughs> That's good, right? I don't know. I am quite worried about him. I hope he hasn't fallen ill from all the stress. At least I got my hands full for the time being. Even though he stopped sending me things, it doesn't feel like he did it all. <laughs> that pile of manuscripts, I still need to proofread doesn't seem to get any smaller. <laughs> this is the box I'll get to publish this week. Oh, oh, did I mention this gentleman's books are quite popular? You might be a little too young to understand them, but the older kids love them. Oh, what does he write about? Lots and lots of things. Everything from plants and animals to machines and robots. Some of his books even have pictures. Looks like a scanner. Looks like a printer. I hope that nice gentleman is all right. If I knew where he lived, I would have sent him some soup or a nice blanket. <laughs> you know, just sticking a like a little uh, Maybell accent with her just seems to work out really well. The computer screen says something about updated databases. Hmm. A small bed. Okay, it, let's see, just by some chance, if she'll use the bed now that we've kind of done all that looking. I don't think it's a good time. Okay. There's no door back here, right? Nope. Okay, well. I guess I don't really, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. If you have an inquiry, please approach from the front. I'm good, thanks. 
Alrighty. I guess we could go back and talk to Kip. I'm trying to remember, was there a door or anything that we found that was something I couldn't get into? We already went through all of that. The library was supposed to give me like a tip or a hint as to what to do, right? Oh yeah, this thing down here, it's locked, isn't it? Oh no, we found, that's right. This is like a shortcut that leads us all the way back. But we did not figure out what to do in here. Okay, well, it minimizes. Um. Oh, it went back to full screen. That was kind of cool. <laughs> I didn't even have to do it. Sorry, it might have been slightly delayed on the screen there, but it went back. I didn't even have to do anything. Nothing back behind here. I just find it odd that I can go behind this one. Because I couldn't go behind any of the previous things. I kept checking. But nothing was let me through. Okay, well let's check through the streets where all those alleyways were at. Let's see if there's something else that I missed. Because there were a lot of paths to go. And I don't think I went through all of them. Now was over here the factory. With the scientists. Well, I guess the labs. Let's, let's just see if by any chance Kip says anything now that we've talked to... Don't overwork yourself. Okay, nope. What if I... Oh, I see you put your own photo on there. Does that mean your name is Kip now? That was a joke. I'm glad she reacted to that. That's fun. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that I haven't explored that we found so far. But, like I said also, it's the alleyways, there were definitely some paths there. I don't think I went all the way through. We'll see if there's anything else. Can I tell them their camera's fixed? Benjamin and I fixed the camera. Aw, oh, sweet! Let's see if... Oh, didn't know if it would react to that. Nope. Okay. Now, over here was the fox, right? There's no one here. Okay. That at least confirms that... Okay, that's a robot we can't go... touch. Anything down here? Hello? It's strangely warm in this room. Oh, it's a person. Look at that. It's got like a big robot head. It's like a tall person sitting down. I couldn't tell what that was at first. Oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. <laughs> well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got Benjamite to guide me. I see. It's warm here. Yeah. This was my original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh, I see. He's like a furnace. Okay. Oh, it's a nice purpose. Yawn. Oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. Benjamin and I got stuff to do. I see. Wow, that is really weird. I definitely didn't expect to see that. I think we already came down this way, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a curious marking on the wall. I don't have anything that would be like a 
a hammer or a tool or something to maybe ram that thing with. I'm assuming that's what they're kind of implying with the ram, is that it's something you need to ram. <laughs> Literally. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so can we go back up? What happens if we go back up? Normally it doesn't let you backtrack. That's why I'm kind of surprised that this is an option. Just a bunch of that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have anybody to talk to this time. Okay, let's go check out our little plant. Oh, wait a minute. We got this water that you water once and then you don't have to water anymore. I wonder if we, wonder if we can put that on the, the plant. I didn't even think about that. Let's see. Good thinking, Benjamin. This water should really help this seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. Ah, look, it's now yellow, little, little bitty tiny green dot. Ah, good luck, little plant. Oh, that's super cool. I'm glad we got to come back up. Maybe this robot will say something about it now. Hello again, Messiah. Do you need help? Explain again. Very well. You need to find a way to get the, to library on the surface. Oh, well, yeah, we knew that part. We've done that part, actually. You want to see my library card? Made it myself. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? Okay, well. Okay. The only thing I think of is what we need to do is inside the library. Everything keeps pointing to the library. I mean, we got this thing. It's a book. We could try showing this to the uh, the librarian, head librarian. Oh, no, I guess she wouldn't be the author because the author is this person that keeeps talking about travels everywhere and can fly. She is the, the head librarian. Let's take this to her. Maybe she'll say something about it. Oh, travel library. I'm so glad they have this, have that in this game. When I remember to use it, it's fantastic. Okay. Any chance you can do something with this? Oh, I do have this book. Oh, sweet. Something is happening. I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Really now? May I take a closer look, dear? Here. Oh. Oh my, where did you find this? Somewhere in the Barrens. Oh, I wonder if she could translate. I remember when I found the document in my documents folder? I wonder if her translating this book would allow me to translate that paper, the parts I couldn't read. That'd be an unexpected twist. Oh, we found it in a safe. Oh, that's right, that is where we found that. Right, Benjamite? Hmm, I think I'm supposed to translate this for you. Is it all right if I hold on to the journal for now, sweetheart? It might take a little while, I'm afraid. Go for it. <sighs> now they say yawns are contagious. If you just yawned, let me know in the comments. Excuse me. Oh, you poor baby. Goodness, you must have worked so hard to help us. I think you deserve a nap, no? A nap does sound nice. I have a guest room upstairs. It's just down the hall to the right. Sweet. Do I got anything else I think she might be interested in? Maybe the feather? Yawn. <laughs> Don't wear yourself out. Okay. I got a feeling that's what I'm supposed to do now. It was worth checking. I did find it weird that uh, she wouldn't sleep in this bed, even though it's got like the little light bulb on it. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. 
Ah, she's remembering breakfast with her mom. Oh, maybe we'll get to see what happened. Something grabbed her attention. The light bulb broke. That was interesting. Hey, Benjamite. I guess you saw my dream? Yes. It was... Come on, let's go. <laughs> she don't want to talk about it. Is it possible that this is like in her head and she's seeing her restoring this bulb as like making up for the one that just broke in her house? Like, is she feeling guilty for breaking a bulb? I don't see how that would work, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm stretching trying to find some kind of connection here, but I'm still quite lost. They're doing a good job of keeping us guessing all the way to the end, aren't they? Had a good nap, dear? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. I have the translation ready for you now. It looks like this journal might be meant for Benjamite. Oh? Here, why don't you take a look? Greetings, Benjamite. <laughs> yep, sounds like it's me. If you can finally read this, that means you are near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. You know who I'm talking about, of course. When you first arrived here with our savior, it no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. Okay. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Benjamite, on the other hand, look at the patterns on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. Look at the pattern on the floor. At this point, I'm like, huh? <laughs> Looking at my own floor. Look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. That is all there is to translate. Looks like the other pages have been torn out. Oh, quite a shame. I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. I'm wondering if my actual computer window is like going to close and I got to reopen it. Oh, well, I guess Benjamite can figure that one out. Right. Oh. What does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. That means the stuff contained in yellow phosphor. They glow for a very long time, so people call them pieces of the sun sometimes. Oh, I do have a piece of amber and a feather. They're both glowing yellow. Very good, dear. And I can help you with the last one. Oh, look at that. It's like a glowing dye. Oh, it looks like you. I know, isn't it silly? But now you'll have something to remind you of the library. Aw, oh, thank you. Good luck now, sweetie. I wish you safe travels. Look at that. We got four yellow things here. A die with glowing dots. Oh, would you like me to explain again? Yes, please. According to the journal, you must go to the small room at the base of the tower while having three pieces of the previous sun in your possession. Oh, I wonder if that's that room that we're seeing with the big X. Could that be the base of the tower? And then you must stand in the room and Benjamite will do something about the floor pattern and windows. Ah, ha, ha, ha. makes sense. Thank you. Best of luck. I bet that's what that is. The window will disappear, so you have to bring it back. It is so trippy. Okay. Oh. Hey, Benjamite. Do you remember where the cafe is? 
E yes. Oh, good. I'm asking because, well, I'm a little hungry. Actually, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. So is it okay if we go get some food before we enter the tower? I hope they have pancakes. I do remember. Can I fast travel to the elevator? Yay! I almost went to visit that guy, actually, when we were up there. I was like, eh, we can see maybe he says something different. Okay, I want to say it was this way. I remember it was one of these paths to the right, but I don't remember if it was the upper or the lower. I think it was the lower. Yeah. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, hey, you're back. Did you manage to fix the elevator? Mm-hmm. Benjamin and I went to the surface already, and... I love the little grumble noise it makes. Well, I remember there being a cafe here. Do you have pancakes? We sure do. Wait, I don't have any money. Maybe I can help you wash dishes or something. Oh no, it's on the house. The least I can do for the savior, right? Here, why don't you take a seat? I'll go fry some up for you. Pancakes. <laughs> Great, now I'm kind of craving pancakes. They do sound good. These pancakes are so good. Thank you so much. No problem. You looked really hungry. Yeah, I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go into the tower. Ah, gotcha. So, I guess pancakes are your favorite food? Mm-hmm. Well, almost. My favorite food in the world are the special pancakes that my mama makes. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them up into the batter. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. They taste amazing. She always made them when I was feeling sad, or lonely, or... Mama. Oh, look, there's little tears in her eyes. She misses Mama. I really miss her. I just... I just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Oh, don't say that. You guys already know, my biggest fear for almost this whole playthrough, I'd say at least from episode three, if not on episode two, is that it's not going to have a happy ending and Nico is going to have to like sacrifice herself for all these people or something. That's what I'm worried about. And this right here just makes me feel even more nervous about that. Am I even here to save the world? People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. I don't even know why I'm here. I just want to see my mama again. Oh, uh, there, there. It's going to be okay. And I'm sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid. You managed to get this far already, right? Yeah, but... And you'll get to go home afterwards, right? Right. Hey, want some more pancakes? It's okay. I'll be fine. <sighs> Nico, you're scaring me, girl. So, yeah. Thanks for coming by. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem. Good luck. Favorite foods achievement, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I'm going to guess. The room with the giant X on the floor is where we got to go now. And like before, if nothing's said in the elevator, I'll just swoosh past the ride. Fastest elevator ride ever. Okay, library, back alley, factory. Let's check the back alley. Where's that gonna take us? Oh, there's that room of his. I'm trying to remember where it was we went to. Hmm. I clearly did not go the correct way. I think we're close, though. Oh, oh. oh, I thought it was about to kick in. Uh, Yep, right here, I think. Oh, boy. There's a giant X on the floor. Maybe the X means I need to close the window. That's what it was talking about. The window will go away. Okay. I'm going to guess that's what we need to do. Okay, we closed it.
No, let's bring her back. Oh, she looks sad. Maybe she's happy now. I assume I did that right. Is this the inside of the tower? It's a lot darker than I thought. Wait, where's the sun? Good question. Benjamin, do you know what happened to the sun? Benjamin? Benjamin? Come on, Benjamin, say something. Why am I not saying anything? Benjamin! What's going on? Oh. What, Nora? No items. Okay, I can still sprint. Let's just run in one direction for a little bit. What? I am confused. Something sounded different there for a second. Oh. Hello, Nico. Uh, hello? Congratulations, you are now inside the tower. Are you talking to me now? Correct. But you were always talking to Benjamite before. Where's... Benjamite has already left. Nuh-uh, I'm right here. <laughs> what? I had to resort to contacting you directly. Wait, so Benjamite is gone? Just like that? Correct. For good? Correct. Benjamite has already finished their mission. And so have you, Nico. Here, you can rest now. Everything that's happened here is like a bad dream. When you wake up, you will be home. Oh. But... What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? I thought we were supposed to go to the top of the tower. I thought there were supposed to be somewhere we need to put the sun in. And now I don't even have the sun. And Benjamin is just gone. This feels wrong. But you did good. You saved the world, Nico. Are you not happy? I guess I am. But it's just... <laughs> it just shut down. What happens if I don't go to the bed? How far am I traveling? Oh wow, it is literally, it keeps going. Oh, it did a loop. Is it still off? Let's see if I keep going this way. We get to bed. This is really weird. Okay, let's see what happens. I never even got to say goodbye to Benjamite. Hmm. Nothing's happening. I'm going to close it and reopen it again, see if anything happens. Oh. Wait a second. This is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there is more to the story. Documents, my games, one shot. Look for this simple symbol. Once it is active, please relaunch the game. What? This game is tripping me out. 
uh, during cutscenes. It says to close it. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. Documents. My games. One shot. All right. I forced it close. So we're going to activate this thing. And then relaunch the game. <laughs> what is going on? Nico. She heard me. Hello? Bingemite? Was that you just now? I thought I heard your voice in my dream. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, guess you're still not there. Why am I not answering? Wait, there's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting it there. What's in her pocket? It's a black clover. I'm the author. Remember that was like, it said something about the author goes around putting that on everything that's his. That's like his insignia or something to that effect. What if I talk to the, it looks like it's back on. Dot, dot, dot. You are still here. Nico, why are you still here? You. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm playing Undertale where the, um, I kept calling him Flowery, the flowy guy or whatever, that flower that was evil. I feel like it's like out to get me and it's like actually attacking me through my computer or something. Ah, oh, yes, it's me. Why did you come back, Benjamite? I told you to stay away. You knew I tried to cut the story short. Is that it? You want more out of me? Is that it? Fine. If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. Oh no. <laughs> This is so weird. What? Back then, I told you about the entity. Wait a minute. Back then, I told you about the entity as little as possible. Apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. Back then, I told you about the entity as little as possible. There must be some kind of way I can... Okay. Apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. Hmm. He said, if you never want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. Uh, is there anything behind this? This is not over, regardless of what the entity told you. Hmm. Look for this symbol. Well, I kind of don't want to minimize the, the, the game because I don't know if something else is going to change over here. Is there anything I can do with this? Oh, wow. Uh, I feel like this is something. The fact that it's transparent. Um, 
I can't go through any of these other... It changes if I go to the left. It's like just torn out paper. Hmm. Yeah, line up the little clover. Hmm. Hey, something happened. Okay. Uh, this being has a habit of silencing the people who learn of its true nature. Maybe lining this up on here is what's supposed to kind of tell me which way to go. Okay. Try going up again. Oh, I might be on to something. Uh, regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. There's a little... There we go. Let's try going up and to the right. Oh, I think it's working. Ah, but I do not worry. The entity cannot touch you. But do not worry, the entity cannot touch you. Oh, where do I go on this one? This one, do I go left again? I hope that was right and I didn't just like reset it. Nor can it do anything to me. Okay, we're gonna go down again. I already left the world on my own terms. Okay, we'll go down again. I left the world on my own terms. I never meant for the entity to exist. And another door. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. But now that it is fully sentient, one thing became clear. Oh, look, it's like it's pointing to the door. The entity seeks death. This is the craziest puzzle ever. What? Death to itself, death to the world, a relentless desire to manifest physically. Oh, because if it manifests physically, then that would mean that it was alive? You have already seen the scars. Okay. Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress. Stalling for even a few minutes. <laughs> that is so cool. Nobody could just get lucky guesses to get through this, could they? Before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower summit. Oh, so we are still working towards that. Because I agree with Nico. The ending we got there at first was kind of like, uh, what was the point of that? That is where you, God, will make the final judgment for the world. Okay. Of course, the entity will contact you again there. Ugh. And when it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. Oh no. There's still another twist to come, is that what you're trying to tell me? 
This will end the world instantly. Okay. I'm, I'm so nervous I'm going to mess something up. I'm trying to be super careful here. Dot, dot, dot. It looks like it's pointing off over here to the left. Must be this. Uh, where's that? More dot, dot, dots. Okay. This is so trippy. I'm so worried I'm going to click the wrong thing here. I want to bit. No, no, it's not that simple. I am sorry, I do not know what to do in a situation like this. We are repeating, but I think I have to tell you the truth. The sun, wait a second. The sun is the Messiah's tie to the world. Oh boy. Um, what's this one here? <laughs> this is crazy. Absolutely not. As long as the sun is intact, the Messiah remains trapped here. Is this the trick? Is this, is this the entity trying to trick us into shattering the sun? As long as the sun is intact, the Messiah is trapped. Is that what it's trying to do? Get us to shatter it? Look, can I walk through any of these paths here? And it's safe? Do I need to highlight them all? Hmm. What happens if I step on another one? It does go black again. Okay. Whew. I almost messed that up. I still might have. I don't know if I need to color all these in or not. I'm assuming I do. Okay. Go over. But up to the top. It does go up to the top. And... Boy. Not quite all the way over. I need three more. One, two, three. Okay. Should be just two more rows, right? Okay. <laughs> this is nuts. Shattering the sun may terminate this world, but... Do I need to walk through over here? I need to highlight just the... <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Uh, it is also the only way for the Messiah to return home. Oh, the Messiah. That's Nico. So shattering the, the sun is the only way to get her to go home. That's the trick. My goodness. Okay. Yeah, right here. Over. Okay, over one more. You know what? Let's, um... No, let's go ahead and finish the outside. and Because it doesn't seem to matter if we do the outside, then the inside. I think it was to there. This is crazy. Doot, doot, doot. 
Okay, I'm gonna walk out. Come back this way. Probably goes to the same point. Yep. Okay. Touch you. Okay, I need to go to the right. Over up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being super cautious here, everybody. I kind of don't want to make a mistake and have to, like, start all over or anything. Oh, I missed one square here in the corner. That's all right. Easy fix. Whew! Boy! I did not realize things could end up like this. Please forgive me. Uh... Okay, I see there's an entrance up here. Okay. I was like, wait, what is going on? It's the light bulb. I don't know if any more papers are gonna come up. I'm gonna go back to full screen mode. If it looks like we get stuck in some fashion, we'll come back out here and see if any more papers show up. It's the light bulb. Thank goodness it's safe. Oh, she's crying. I guess Benjamin isn't coming back. Nico, I'm here. Benjamite! Yes? Is that really you? I thought you were gone. I never left. Oh, I was feeling a bit scared back there. I thought I was completely alone. But that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? Ah, uh, guess we need to figure out where to go now. And... It started glowing. The sun! It lit up on its own. Okay, guess I should pick it up, right, Benjamite? Okay. This is so crazy. Oh, we're back in the basement. Well, at least that's what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah, we're all the way back here. This is the room we started in. Hmm. So you actually made it. <laughs> Maybe. I guess you win, Benjamin. I'll tell you how to save the world then. When you reach the summit, Shatter the light bulb. And... And then it didn't say anything else. I saved the world by shattering the light bulb. But remember, it said it was going to try to trick me. I'm just humoring you. <laughs> I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Okay, I'm gonna leave it in this mode. I wish the window was bigger though. But that's gonna keep popping up. It's gonna keep jumping back and forth. Are you still planning to save the world, Benjamite? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you even figured out what this world is? No, not really. <laughs> I'm quite confused. I told you at the beginning, your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is the only thing worth saving here. The final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. You only have one shot, Benjamin. 
If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes up back home like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of this sacrifice. At least tell Nico the truth. You do care about Nico, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You jerk. This is so weird. Sure is taking a while. I guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, Benjamin. Ooh, that sounds weird. Are you excited, Benjamin? We're finally gonna save the world. And I know it's for real this time, cause you're here. And then, I'll get to go home for real this time. I can't wait to see everyone again. Oh man, are you okay, Benjamin? You seem a little quiet. Nico or Dot, let's say, let's say her name. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I'm listening. We can't say both. Question mark. The world and you. What, what's that supposed to mean, Benjamin? To send you home, we must break the light bulb. What? But won't that, but won't that end the world? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. So what happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I don't know. You don't? <laughs> I just kind of assumed she'd be stuck here. What other option could there be? Right? I get one shot. What do I choose? So this is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? But if I want to go home, I have to break it. Oh. Benjamite? What should I do? What's the right thing to do? I mean, the only thing I keep coming back to is the fact that it said... It said the entity would try to trick me into shattering the bulb or shattering the sun. Which would mean that if it's a trick, that not shattering the bulb, putting the sun back, won't have a bad outcome. Right? That's the only thing I could think of. But on the flip side of this, Nico is abducted and just put here, it sounds like, completely outside of her will. Unless everything she's been dreaming about didn't actually happen. I mean, we, we don't really know. I mean, we're just as confused about all this as she is. That one comment that the entity said also about how, have you not figured out what this world is? What is this world supposed to be? We got the Barons, the Glen. The, the, was it the refuge? We got all these robots. I don't know, but I'm thinking return the sun. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. 
Okay, her facial expression doesn't change one way or the other. I wouldn't really like she smiled on this side and looked scared on this side. The only other thing I'm trying to think about is, is there any way returning the sun, would the people here be able to help her still get home? Just because shattering the bulb might get her home doesn't mean that there might not be another way to get her home just through some of the technologies that they, they have here. Maybe. Okay, I'm going to go return the sun only because I'm still leaning on that whole idea that they said the entity was going to try to trick me. Which would mean shatter the bulb so she can go home. I'm going to go under the impression that that's the trick. So we're going to say return the sun. Nico, I really hope this works out. You're right. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help, Benjamin. I promise I'll be okay. Is that how it ends? That's how it ends? The librarian seeing the sun. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow, that is a tall tower. Wow. Oh, look at that. It's the two kids. I can't help but think that it's got to help. The only person that was telling us this whole way through that it's a lost cause. Well, she was one of them that also said it's probably not going to work. The state of decay is too much. But I was going to say it was that entity. So maybe we just couldn't flat out trust that entity. <laughs> the profit bot. Able to wear longer clothing. That was part of the modifications. <laughs> oh, wow. A side quest. Oh, the rebirth. That's right. That's the thing we planted. It worked. Yay. If we hadn't went up and put on that extra water, I wonder if that step right there wouldn't have popped up. Thank you for playing. Anything. It does seem like this game freezes up on me sometimes and I have to close it and reload it. It's happened a couple times through the playthrough. I've been able to edit it out most of the time so it doesn't look like it, but every once in a while the same seems to just lock up. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like I can do anything that this is all that shows up now. I think what they're showing is the sun is shining again here in... Um, in the world that we've been navigating through. Because this is obviously back in the Barrens here. Wow. So I don't exactly know what this world was supposed to be. The entity asked me that question at one point. Have you not figured out what this world is? The only thing I could think of is it was trying to say the world was my PC in some case, some, some way. But I, I don't know if that's what they were trying to get at or not. We didn't really get an answer as to what all the little red squares were that were popping up everywhere. The anomalies. I'm beginning to think that the whole tamed thing, we, we talked to that one, uh, the, the, the doctor, the scientist or whatever. And she talked about how she tried to make the engineer that we found here at the beginning um, self-aware kind of a thing, able to r r learn 
and go outside of its code. And then it went <laughs> ballistic, it sounds like. And then somebody managed to repair it. Somebody who was able to fly. Now, again, the person that was able to fly, was that supposed to be me? I don't know. But now she was okay. But what, I, what, I'm, what I'm wondering is they said they took all the tamed robots out of the Barrents and they moved them to the Glens. And so I don't know if maybe after they fixed the engineer, if they then realized how to do it correctly and tamed means they were self-aware. But it seems like... It seems like most of the robots we encountered, even the ones that looked different, more human-like, we're also still following programming. The one exception would be when we were inside that one science lab, when we talked to one of the scientists that was trying to repair a robot, he said, I missed having the robots that would repair the robots. And she said something to the effect of, aren't you a robot? And he said, do I sound like a robot? And she's like, no, but your head is a TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, was that a tamed robot? So self-aware, so free to do what it wanted to that it didn't realize that it was still a robot the vendors that we came across that were able to help us fix the camera but I feel like they would have been able to still tell us how to fix it wouldn't have been I think this is how you fix it you know they would have still been robotic in nature and been able to remember exactly so maybe they don't fall into that category I don't know I don't feel like the game answered all the questions that I had and I don't know, maybe I chose wrong. I, I don't know if, because, you know, I booted the game back up and it only goes to this. So I don't know if there's a way to wipe it clean and play all the way through again and then choose the other option to see what we get. But I don't know, maybe that's the right answer. We don't know what happened to Nico. I assume that she's just stuck here in this world now and she's going to live out her life here but she's got friends there's lots of people it's not like she's uh, the only downside to her being stuck here is the fact she doesn't get to see her mama again and she clearly loved her mama but you know this isn't necessarily a bad place to live especially now that the light is shining again she met lots of people along the way she completed her task Overall, I think it was a it was a fun game. The puzzles were very unique, and the fact that it like it it reaches out to me directly and talks to me directly, interferes with my computer directly. I've never played a game that does that kind of stuff. I've played games before where it might close the program. You know, I've played a few games that that was one of the side effects is you do a certain thing and it just closes the program. You're like ah, and you boot it back up. I've never had it like create documents, put it on my in my folder, change my wallpaper so that I have a message. You know, I've never had any game I've played that does that kind of stuff. Kind of scary, actually. But we we put the ball back. We completed our mission. But the entity wasn't lying about the fact that it said that the the sun or the bulb was tied to Nico. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of questions. I almost feel like I need to watch some other people play this so that I can try to get ideas of things that maybe I just completely missed. Maybe there were some NPCs along the way that I didn't find, that I didn't talk to, some puzzles I didn't finish, and that's why I still have questions. And obviously, you guys are welcome to leave comments in the comments below, kind of explaining to me what you think the answer is. But the way I see it is we fixed this place. We put the bulb in on the tower. It's shining. Nico lived out her life here. Had a fantastic, wonderful life. Only exception being she didn't get to go back and see her mama again. How she got here, I have no idea. Did the entity just bring her here? Maybe. Did I, Benjamite, bring her here somehow? I don't know. I, I, it's just another set of questions that I'm like, I, I don't know where it started. But, uh, but yeah, I feel like this was mostly a happy ending. <laughs>
We don't see what happened to Nico afterwards. That kind of bugs me a little bit. But I'm just going to go under the assumption she lived out her life. And I don't want to start rambling, so I won't I won't linger on this point too much longer. But this was a fun game. I really enjoyed the uniqueness of the puzzles. I really feel like I've played something like I've never played before, which is really cool. It's always fun when you have that kind of feeling. But what is going to be next on the channel? I don't know exactly just yet, but if you want to be around for when that arrives and you haven't already, if you had a good time, it sure would help me out. If you consider one last time, maybe hitting that subscribe button. All right, that's it for one shot. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one.